Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on here and intro this video. I had originally filmed a clip entering this video, but I don't know what happened to it. I think I accidentally deleted it between doing Vlogmas and whatnot and just filming nonstop. I think it just accidentally got deleted. So hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michaela and we are, I think this is gonna be the first video of 2022. So we are kicking things off with a refurbishment project and I am so excited about it. I am in the process of just changing up some of the furniture in our home. I am just wanting to redo like our bedroom furniture and whatnot and just change it up. So we recently sold our entire bedroom furniture if you guys have seen me in any of my cleaning videos and whatnot it's just like very big bulky furniture and it's white and it's bright and so i really just wanted to kind of slim things down especially since we're going to hawaii i just wanted more simplistic furniture and so i found a dresser an ikea dresser i believe it's the hemness if that's how you say it it's the ikea dresser that like everybody has and so i found one off of facebook marketplace like everybody has them and they're constantly being sold and so i was able to grab one and I'm gonna be refurbishing it. And I'm just so excited to just have some new furniture, change the tones. I'm really going for like a warm, cozy feel. So yeah, I'm really excited about this piece. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, so the stain that I got is this Varathane, Varathane, I think that's what it's called. And it's in the shade Special Walnut. And I've seen a lot of videos on this and it just looks like a really nice brown stain. So I'm super excited to use that. The downside is we got sandpaper to sand off all the paint for the dresser, but my wonderful husband, who is hiding behind the closet doors right now. He told us that the sandpaper that we got would grip onto our electric sander. It does not. I think it works for maybe like a bigger sander that can maybe clip onto stuff, but it doesn't stick. So for today, we are probably going to be having to sand everything by hand, but I know that Amazon sells the ones for our sander. So I think I might order some online, but for today, we're going to get things started and just do everything by hand. And uh, Dagan is <laughs> he's creeping in the background. He creep. Hello, are you even standing there? So yeah, we're gonna move the dresser outside. Okay, so we have the dresser back there. So we're gonna move it outside into the backyard so that we can start sanding everything down. Okay, so that was short lived. It is way harder to sand that down when we don't have like an electrical sander. So I ended up ordering a big pack of sandpaper that goes for our electrical sander off of Amazon. That should be here tomorrow. So we weren't able to actually like really do a whole lot of progress, but we did sand down the sides of the drawers and like some of the like drawers that pulled out and just like some of the sides of the dresser. So we got a little bit of a start, but unfortunately I can't really do much more than that just because my hands are already like getting shredded up from the sandpaper because we have really, really rough sandpaper to get the paint off. So we just have to stop and wait until we get the sandpaper back tomorrow. And then we will pick up and hopefully actually get some progress done. Alrighty, so it is the next day. We are getting a little bit of a late start because I had some appointments I had to go to this morning, but we got the sandpaper in. It got delivered a little bit ago. So they just look like this, kind of like, Velcro, like so. And so it comes with like a bunch of different grips. So I'm hoping that by using this, we'll actually be able to get the paint off of the dresser and start making some progress today. Oh, 
Oh. <gasps> I might want to put the battery in. <laughs> Okay, so it is a little bit later and we took, right over here, we took a break because our sander keeps dying on us. It's not the largest or most powerful thing, so we had to keep stopping to charge it. So we're taking a break to like let it fully charge, but I want to show you because we got pretty much the whole top done so far. So I feel like we're making progress. Okay, so here is the top. We pretty much got it all done for the most part. You can see this is like completely sanded off, but we just have like some dark spots here that once the sander is fully charged, we'll go back over. I started sanding down like the sides of this so that we can just like go over the front, but it's coming along. Okay, so it is day, well, is it day two? I think it's, it's day three of us technically starting to refurbish this dresser. You guys might be able to hear a little background noise because Dagan's outside sanding. We finally finished sanding the top of the dresser, which I think was the hardest part, hopefully. And he's starting to sand down the sides and it looks so good. Like I cannot wait to stain this. But because the sanding process, because we don't have like a full like sander and it is a little guy it does take a lot longer the battery dies and then we have to wait for hours for it to recharge so i'm trying another method to see if i can get this paint and like top coat off when we first moved here a couple years ago i had redone our kitchen table and i used citrus strip to remove everything and so i'm trying that again with our like the actual drawers and i had to bring the doors inside because it is still kind of cold outside so i don't think it's warm enough for it to actually like bubble up and remove and citrus strip it's safe to use inside so i brought it inside i'll show you guys what it looks like and i'm hoping that that will kind of help quicken up the process of us getting this top coat off okay so here is one of the dresser drawers and i'm testing it out you can see we have the citrus strip on here and then it says to put like saran wrap over it so that it can encapsulate the goop and hopefully start taking it off. So I'm hoping that since it's inside and it's warmer in the house, give it a couple hours and maybe it'll start working. We'll see, if not, we will resort back to sanding, but I'm just gonna try this one drawer to see if it works. And then if it does work, I will more than likely do this on the rest of the drawers. Okay, you guys, so it is Monday morning. I didn't film at all yesterday because there was kind of like no progress. There was progress, but it, it's the same thing that we've been doing. We've been sanding. Dagan actually got the one side of the dresser down, which was really hard to sand, and then some of the front, like in between the dresser drawers, which was really nice. However, the citrus strip that I tried using on one of the dresser drawers, it it did not work. It, it did not work at all. We even went to a home improvement store to try and get like an actual stripper, left it on overnight and it did nothing. So I don't, I don't know what Ikea, cause it's, it's wood furniture. It's made out of pine. And so generally like I've refurbished wood furniture before where you've been able to put the stuff on and it bubbles up and everything. But for whatever reason, I don't know what they put on top of it. It's like this plasticky paint coat that looks like it's laminate, but it's wood underneath of it, underneath of it, underneath it. So literally the only way that we can get this stuff off is to sand it. And it's just taking a long time because like I said, we don't have a large sander, but Dagan is at work today. And so my job is to try and sand the front of the dresser drawers. I sanded down all the sides yesterday. I think majority of the sides of the drawers. So all I need to do is just sand the top of them. So hopefully I can get some of those knocked out of the way and make some progress. This dresser is like taking on a whole life in and of itself, but I know it's, I know it's gonna look great when we're done. It's just, I was not expecting this much work to go into it.
friends. It has been a minute. For you guys, it hasn't been a minute, but for me, it's been a minute. I had to pause on this whole project and filming because as I was sanding and getting all of the paint off of this dresser, I had looked in the forecast and it was gonna be like raining for the next few days. And so I ended up having to pause on the project, bring the dresser inside. I didn't wanna sand inside my house too, just because of all the dust. So I ended up taking a pause until the weather cleared up. And then by the time the weather actually cleared up, it was December. And if you guys haven't been keeping up with my channel, I have, was doing Vlogmas all of December and I didn't wanna incorporate this project into Vlogmas because I had already started a separate project on it. So I ended up saying like, you know what? Let's just pause this whole video until I'm done with that and then we'll pick back up. And so Vlogmas is done. If you guys wanna go see my videos, I'll put a playlist somewhere so you guys can go Watch that if you want, you don't have to. But. So now I am back to finishing this project and I just finished sanding the whole thing. Pretty much everything on this dresser is sanded off minus like the little nooks and crannies and the pieces that like I'm not really gonna see like the inside of the walls, the, the drawers go into, like you're not gonna see that. I just kind of like sanded down the edges and whatnot. It's like 95% completely sanded. And so I finished doing that and then I just went over it with a 120 uh, grit sandpaper just to smooth everything out, wiped it down. So now we are getting to the exciting part because I am so sick of sanding. Oh my gosh, this thing took so much longer than anticipated, but I love it. I'm so excited for it. So now we are getting on to the fun part, which is the staining process and actually seeing this piece of furniture come to life. So the first thing that I'm gonna do before we stain is I'm gonna put this wood conditioner on it. It's pre-stained wood conditioner. And for, at first I wasn't gonna do a wood conditioner because the video that I watched, I didn't see her put one on there. So I was like, okay, I don't need to put one on there. But the more I started to research, I realized that with stains, if you don't put a wood conditioner, from what I've researched, if you don't put a wood conditioner on the wood, it can oftentimes stains will absorb unevenly. And especially because pine, I believe is a softer wood. I could be wrong, but from what I was reading, it's a softer wood, so it's going to absorb more, which means that it could absorb more in certain areas and just be blotchy. I really don't want that after I spent so much time sanding it. So we're gonna do a pre-stain that way. The stain goes on completely even, hopefully. This is just from Verifang. This is the pre-stain wood conditioner. So we're gonna do this. I have to put this on and then within like five to 10 minutes, I gotta put the stain on afterwards. So we gotta kind of work quickly. I'm definitely gonna work in sections. So I'm gonna probably do like, I'm, I think first of all, I'm going to test a small piece like in the back of NBC just to make sure everything works and it's to my liking. And then we'll work in pieces and I'll do like, the dresser body and then the drawers and whatnot. But I am so excited <laughs> to be done with this. Also, I think I'm gonna go maybe change real quick because I don't know if you guys can see, but like I am covered in dust. Our little sander, I think is on its last leg because the bag has, there's a hole. I must've ripped it on accident, but there's a hole. So this, the dust was like blowing out the side and I was leaning against the uh, sander as I was like getting in there and sanding. I didn't realize it covered me in dust, so. Um, I might go put on a different shirt while I do this.
guys. It looks so good. Even the neighborhood dogs think so. I just finished staining the dresser. I still have to do the drawers over here, but you guys, it looks so good. It's exactly what I was envisioning. And it's, I would say it's like a medium dark, but for the bedroom, I think it's, let me, let me show you guys. It's so good. I love it. Still got to stain the drawers, but you guys, it looks so good. Let me walk around. Oh my goodness. It's still drying. It's got to dry for, I think, two hours. But guys, I love, I love the color and I love how it's like pulling out like different tones of the wood. I think it's so pretty. It's definitely got more of like a red tint to it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I am obsessed. Yeah, you can see I kind of got lazy with my sanding over there, but nobody's going to see that. I am obsessed. I love it so much it's gonna be so pretty in our bedroom i'm really glad i decided to put the conditioner on it just because i just think it it made it look better as far as like having the stain soak in i will say though that having a darker stain it is exposing me on how horrible i am at sanding <laughs> i can see definitely some scratches in the wood that i used with the sander that it is what it is. I mean, it's fine. It looks like weathered. It's like a weathered piece of wood. So it's like, it's, it's not an eyesore, but it's like, ooh, I really messed up there. But it's not like, it's not bad. It's like, it's not unbearable. I honestly like, it just looks like it's an old, like weathered piece of furniture, which I don't mind. I just love how it's like bringing out all the colors of it. And it's totally that like natural vibe that I'm going for. So, oh. I can't wait to see it finished. I'm going to finish staining the drawers and then I have to let everything sit for two hours. I should be able to get the top coat on because I'm not going to do two coats of stain. I, unless it like gets lighter when it dries, but I really like the tone of this and I don't want it to go any darker. So as soon as this is done drying, we're going to put the top coat on and then it'll be done. Oh my gosh. day and I just wanted to check on our dresser so I ended up not putting the top coat on the dresser last night because I originally thought that I thought that I could only wait like a couple hours before putting on the top coat and then when I read the stain like the directions on the stain can it said that I needed to wait like 24 hours so I didn't end up putting the top coat on last night and it's pretty much been 24 hours now so I want to really finish off this dresser I'm just using this Verathane top coat. It's like a triple top coat, so you don't have to put as many layers on because it's thicker. And I'm just making sure I don't have to do anything before putting it on. Okay, so it looks like I can just apply one coat, and then if I want to do another coat, I have to let it dry for a couple hours, sand it down, and then put another coat. But I think one coat will be fine because this is supposed to be like three times the coat. And I have it in a matte formula. I just wanted it like flat. I didn't want it glossy or anything. So Okay, so I wanted to show you guys now that the stain is all dry, just how pretty it's showing up on this wood and just how many different like colors and tones it really pulls out. I just think it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love this stain. And then here I was talking about yesterday, the 
kind of scratches that I did with the sander, which I didn't really notice until putting the stain on, but it's okay. It just makes the piece look a lot more weathered. And honestly, from far away, you can't really tell because there's so many different like tones and textures in the wood. It kind of blends in from far away. So it doesn't bother me too much just because it makes the piece look a little bit more weathered, but I just love how this color came through on this wood. Alrighty guys, so the dresser is officially completed. Well, I would say like it's probably like 95% completed. I did decide that I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the knobs and do more of like a bronzy color. Just the way the dresser turned out and how warm it is, I don't like how the black knobs look on it. It just doesn't seem right. Maybe if the stain was a little bit more neutral or even cool toned, the black would look good, but I definitely think like a gold, bronzy knob will really look pretty and complement the stain that's on the dresser. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the final look of this dresser, but you guys, I really, really love how it came out and just how warm and rich the colors of that stain is coming through. And I will say I wasn't expecting it to be so warm, but I think a lot of that had to do with the wood conditioner that I put on prior. Like I had previously said, just because it had such a yellow undertone, I really think it warmed up that stain, which is totally okay. It's kind of sinking in now that it is a lot more warmer than I was expecting. And now that I've kind of had time to look at it, I just really love the piece and just like the different tones that it pulls from it. And last night, I'm gonna be honest, I was a little bit nervous after I had stained it and was just like thinking about it. Cause I was like, it's such a warm piece of furniture and it's got like a deep kind of like reddish undertone. And I was like, I don't know if it's gonna go well or if I like it, but I think honestly, I'm just so used to our furniture being very cool tone, neutral tones. And if you have guys have watched any of my previous videos or any of my clean with me's, you know that my bedroom furniture was white. Everything was white and gray and it was very light and just very white. And so I think bringing in that super warm, rich, dark piece of furniture kind of freaked me out a little bit just cause I'm not used to it. But how I have our future bedroom envisioned is I really want just like a cozy, warm, kind of dark, earthy tone vibe bedroom. Yeah, I really wanna get a duvet cover that's like a dark, olivey, foresty green. And so I think once I bring that in, it'll really kind of complement the dresser and just bring in those natural elements and just really make it a cozy space. So it's gonna be completely different than what our bedroom has been, which I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, Michaela, you're gonna be moving soon. Why are you redoing your bedroom furniture now? Well, it's because in Hawaii, furniture is a lot more expensive over there. And then even if you buy furniture online, you have it shipped, larger pieces can be very expensive to ship. So my thought process is to just start kind of exchanging out our furniture now. That way, when I go to decorate our home, I can still buy small bits and pieces once we're on the island, but those big pieces, We'll already have that taken care of, so hopefully it'll be a lot less expensive. That's my goal, so we'll see how that all goes. I do have about three more large projects that I really wanna tackle before we move, 
and I'm very, very excited about it. One of them has to do with our bedroom, which will probably be my next DIY project. And of course I'll film that for you guys as well. And I'm very, very excited just to do all of them and really start kind of creating and envisioning what our house is gonna look like in Hawaii. But yeah, that's it. I really love how the dresser turned out. It's something completely different, but I'm just kind of excited to change things up. And I really think it's gonna bring a lot of warmth, character, um, and just like life into our home. And I just really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching the process of me refurbishing this dresser. It was a way bigger project than I anticipated and took way longer than I wanted it to, but I'm so happy where it is now. And once I do paint the knobs on the dresser, I will probably pop in a video or something and show you guys how it turned out. I'm just trying to find the specific color that I like for the knobs and the color that I want is sold out everywhere. So I'm kind of just like waiting until I can find it in stock somewhere. Anyways, that is it, you guys. I'll let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe. I would much appreciate that so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.